Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to this live class on Qigong. We are gonna do some Qigong live for you. We're gonna do about a 20 minute class. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what Qigong is, in case you're new here. Qigong, it's an ancient practice. And what we do is make it uh, relevant for modern times. Qi means energy. It is your life force energy. Now, gong means to work with, working with the life force energy. Now, what is life force energy? It is everything. It's the energy of your body. It's the energy of your mind. It's the emotions that you feel. It's going on all around you. Now, this practice originated by mirroring the movements of nature. Now, whether it was a river flowing down the mountain or an animal or a tree in the wind, these practices were shamanistic in nature, dating back some 5,000 years. And over time, they evolved into an energetic science called Chinese medicine. Now, Chinese medicine uh, was broken into five branches. We had acupuncture. Have you guys tried acupuncture before? Acupuncture, herbal medicine, nutrition, massage therapy, and Qigong. Qigong practice was that particular branch in Chinese medicine where you got to be your own best healer, your own best doctor, work on your energy for yourself. Now these five branches made up the medicine of Chinese medicine dating back some 5,000 years, like I said, and it was preventative in nature, meaning that the focus was on healthcare, on health and vitality. You know, in modern life, we think we have healthcare, but we really have sick care. Nobody gets paid in modern medicine unless somebody's sick, unless we have problems. Well, the reverse was true in ancient times, meaning that the doctor got paid almost like a monthly fee, like a subscription almost, as long as you were healthy. The doctor got paid as long as you were healthy. And as soon as you got sick, your payments went away until you restored health and vitality again. That is a reversal of a healthcare system that we have today. Nobody gets paid until you are healthy. It's revolutionary, right? So this was preventative medicine. When we want to have high levels of energy and health, we need practices that focus on vitality. And that's what Qigong does. It's gonna focus on your health, vitality, and your energy. Quite simply put, Qigong practice is less stress and more energy. What is stress? Well, it might manifest as tension in your neck and shoulders. It might manifest as digestive issues. It might manifest as poor sleep. What is energy? You might feel fatigue. You might feel like you don't have enough energy to get through the day. You might feel overwhelmed. Well, if we increase our energy and we decrease our stress, that is where we really feel like we can thrive in life. And guess what? Stress is one of the root causes of almost all diseases, illnesses, and problems that we face. Let me say that again. Stress is the root cause of disease. If we lower stress, your healthcare issues go away or they, your whole physiology improves. They're saying in modern research, 90% of primary doctor visits are stress related. So when you decrease stress, you are increasing your body's ability to heal itself. And that's preventative medicine. And that's what we're gonna do here today. We're gonna show you how to increase your energy, lower your stress, circulate your chi, your life force energy. This practice is about chi. So it's gonna be different than other forms of exercise. You're gonna be doing flowing movements, which are moving meditations to engage your mind, and your body to circulate this life force energy. We're gonna be doing breath, integrating with stretches and movements. You know, not everybody has time to go to the gym, a yoga class, and do a mindfulness meditation. Well, guess what? In Qigong, we do all three of those things together in one cohesive practice. Think of it as an alchemy of movement, meditation, and exercise. Are you ready to try it for yourself? Let's do some Qigong right here, right now. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a stance at shoulder width. The wonderful thing about this practice, you don't need any fancy clothes. You don't need any equipment. You just need your mind and your body. You got that? Let's do it. Let's start off with some breathing because breath is so crucial to how we feel. I want you to put your hands right on your belly and breathe into your center. This is your place of power. In Chinese medicine, this was called your Dantian. In Japanese and martial arts, this was your Hara your center, so breathe into it. Inhale, let your abdomen expand. 
Take a big deep breath right there and then exhale, belly goes back towards your spine. Now when you're doing this, you're restoring your body's energy and you're calming your mind. You're getting centered. Take a few more deep breaths right into your lower abdomen. Exhale all the way out. Nice deep breath. Centering breathing. You can use this whenever you need to. In the middle of your day, when you're working, you're feeling yourself getting stressed out, just take a few breaths into your center, rebalance yourself. All right, now bend your knees, and we're gonna do an exercise called knocking on the door of life. It's gonna build and boost your energy and release tension in your spine. Knees slightly bent, turn from your hips and your waist. Let your arms knock across your lower back. Let your arms knock across your lower abdomen. Knock on the door of life. The door of life is a pressure point. It's directly behind your navel on your spine. So here, as you're doing this, your forearm is knocking on that pressure point. Right next to it is a few other pressure points that are good for energy and vitality. Think of this as a nice way to boost your energy. Often we'll, we'll reach for a, another cup of coffee, but you can build energy from the inside out without the caffeine crash. Knocking on the door of life is one of those exercises that help to build energy. The other benefit of this is it's gonna be great for your spine, spinal health. So as you rotate like this and turning left and right, you're nourishing all the joints in your spine. Let your hand come right up to your chest, right below the collarbone. So you're knocking now on some pressure points that are good for your immune system and your respiratory system. Take a deep breath. Let your spine unwind. One arm knocking across your lower back, the other knocking across the chest and just under that collarbone. Those points good for the immune system. Turn from your hips and your waist. And now just turn a little bit and look over your shoulder to bring some mobility up through the upper back. Now bring the hands a little lower again, across the abdomen and the lower back. And then slowly just let your body unwind, unwind and relax. All right, bend your knees, hands up by your shoulders. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round your back, your chin comes down to your chest and I want you to tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round your back, tuck your tailbone under. We're moving the spine in both directions. We're opening the spine in an extension here and then round the back and feel that flexion of your spine. Extend and flex the spine in both directions. Tuck the tailbone under. Now this is a great exercise if you've been sitting for any extended period of time. You see, the spine will get stagnant or stiff if we sit too long. And if you're sitting for, you know, over an hour or two, if you get up and do these two exercises, it's said to bring some spinal enlivening vitality into the back and into the rest of the body. You'll actually be more productive at work. You'll think clearer if your body isn't tight or stiff. Or what is said is your chi, your life force energy, will circulate better if you get up and move about five minutes for every hour of sitting. Okay, exhale as you round. Synchronize this movement with your breath. Inhale as you open the chest. Now in the beginning we said less stress, more energy. Well, this is a great exercise to clear stress because your nervous system goes right through the spine and connects to your body, brain to body. So when you're breathing deep and moving your spine, you're bringing a relaxation response into your nervous system. And relax, and relax. Very good, step out wider now. We have another direction that the spine moves. The spine can move like this. So in essence, the spine moves in these six directions. They, your spine can twist, your spine can flex and extend and forth, and it can side bend. 
So now we're gonna improve the energy circulation on the sides of the spine with move the body like a river, hands on the knees like this. And we're gonna shift the weight left and right. And as you do so, I want you to move your spine in a flow. So your hips are gonna move first and your head moves last. Hinge over a little bit, just hinge over, shift the weight left and right and move some life force energy to the sides of the spine. Move the body like a river. You're strengthening your legs and you're creating flexibility and flow through the spine. And just breathe normally and naturally as you shift the weight back and forth. Hips move first, head moves last. Bring that flow into your spine. Move the body like a river. And a lot of the Qigong movements imitate or mirror the movements of water because water moves with intrinsic power. Water moves with flow and relaxation. Back and forth, relax the neck and shoulders. Gaze down towards the floor and try to relax into the back of your neck as you shift the weight. Breathe slow, breathe deep. Slow it down, slow it down. Hang forward and just stretch. Let's get a stretch through the back of the legs. Release the lower back. And now bend your knees, roll up. We're gonna do something called full body flow. Take your hands up over the head and press your hips forward, reach up and back. And then extend forward and down and stretch over. Bend your knees, roll up and inhale. Exhale. Reach up and back. You're stretching all the major muscles in the front of the body. Exhale, come forward and down. Bend your knees, roll up, reach up and back. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale. Exhale. Reach up and back, arms out to the sides. And walk it in, relax. All right, you might have done a yoga class before. You might have stretched in that way. Now in Qigong, we do it a little bit different. In yoga, we might hold a pose or go from one pose to another. Where in Qigong, like you just saw, we're stretching the body in a flow. So the body's moving through flowing stretches. And the nice thing is it mobilizes your joints. It creates a connection between the muscles and lengthening the muscles and opening the joints as well. So it's very functional in the fitness that it creates for your body. Let's do a little work on this area, the neck and shoulders. Do you get tight here? We often hold our stress, tension, and tightness right here in the neck and shoulders. So let me show you an exercise. This is called Dragon Stretches Its Tail. It's a fantastic exercise for releasing tension in the neck and shoulders all the way down through the arms. Take both hands over here to the right side. I'll do your mirror image. Both hands over to the right side. Push your hands away from each other or push your hands away from you and turn your head over the left shoulder. Spread the fingers and then turn back and look at that right hand. Inhale here. Exhale, press and turn the head over that left shoulder. Inhale, look at the right hand. Exhale, press and turn and a deep breath. And you're working energy out in the neck and shoulders. But notice again that this stretch not only stretches and lengthens the muscles in the neck and shoulders, but you're mobilizing the joints in your neck. Dragon stretches its tail. A lot of the Qigong movements have these poetic names. It makes it easier to remember and it gives you an idea of what's happening in and through the body. Inhale. Synchronizing movement and breath helps to create a flow of energy in particular areas of your body. Now try this. Push the hands away, turn the head over the opposite shoulder, and take two or three deep breaths. Spread the fingers, 
Couple of deep breaths, let that whole area open. Exhale, bring your hands down. And I want you to notice that right arm. You're gonna feel a flow of energy. Maybe there's a little bit of tingling or buzzing on that one side, more than the other because we just stretched it. That is how these practices open the flow of energy in your body. Let's do the other side. Taking the hands over to the left side, press the hands away from you. Turn the head over the right shoulder and stretch. Nice and easy. Inhale, look at the hands. Exhale, turn and press and stretch. In a deep breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, turn and stretch. Really open the energy through your upper body. You know, we often hold a lot of tension, tightness. When life gets stressful, some reason we tighten our neck and shoulders. This is also great exercise and stretch if you've been working on the computer or using your hands a lot. We want to open the flow of energy so things don't get stagnant or stuck. Exhale and stretch. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Turn the head over the opposite shoulder. Hold that stretch and breathe. Turn and hold and breathe. Take one more deep breath. Hands down. And now feel that wonderful flow of energy and freeing up of the tension in your upper body. One great way to clear stress systemically is shaking. And you'll see athletes do this before an event. We have the Olympics coming up. Watch the Olympics before an event, whether they're swimmers or runners, they're gonna shake off because this is a great way to clear anxiety and stress and it helps us with peak performance, bringing our best energy into the activities of the day. So let's do this all together. I want you to bounce into your legs. I want you to pump the arms, pump the arms. They call it activating the five pumps. You got the arms and the legs working here, that's four. Now release your spine and activate that fifth pump into the spine. Relax the neck. Relax between your shoulder blades. Relax your lower spine. And then take some nice deep breaths. Inhale through your nose. Exhale with a long sigh. Just let it all go. Let it all release. You can't do this exercise and feel stress at the same time. Your nervous system will transform stress and get it to flow into circulating energy. Do that again, nice deep breath. Do this with me. You'll be amazed at how good you feel afterwards. Nice deep breath, long exhale. Pump those arms, pump the legs. Take one more deep breath with a long exhale. And slow it down, slow it down. Now notice, just for a minute, just notice how your body feels. If you can, close your eyes and pay attention. Do you feel buzzing and tingling energy in your arms, in your legs, a nice flow of energy through your whole system? This is chi. This is your life force energy. You know, chi is what beats your heart. It's what inspires your lungs to breathe. It's the light in your mind so you could see images. It's the mysterious life force energy that flows through you. And when it flows through you in unimpeded ways, it creates health and vitality. Now bend your knees a little bit, palms face down. Inhale, float your arms up. And exhale, float the arms down. This is called open the flow. And we're moving slowly. That's one of the things that we do in Qigong. We move our bodies slowly with energy and vitality. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, float the arms down. This is moving meditation. It brings you into the present moment with all of yourself in an effortless flow. Can you relax your upper back, neck and shoulders just a little bit more? Inhale. And then exhale, float the arms down. In a 
deep breath. Exhale, relax, drop in. Connect to your power and potential with these flowing movements. Inhale, arms float up. We're synchronizing breath with movement. Exhale, float the arms down. Now just imagine any tension in your neck and shoulders, it melts like ice to water. And then that water turns into your power, into your flow. Go slow to enter the flow. Synchronize your breath, just slow it all down. Feels good to slow down. Qigong helps you to get out of that rush, that hurried mindset, and bring yourself back to the present moment and power up so that you can do all the things you wanna do in your day with focus and clarity. Now hands down and have your palms face towards each other. Let's do a movement, this is called Embrace the Tiger, Return to the Mountain. Your hands glide apart like that. Then the back of the hands come towards each other. You roll up, elbows drop, push forward. Then circle the arms around. So it's a little longer flow. Embrace the tiger means harness your power, your energy, and your courage. Glide the hands apart. A little wave up through your spine as the hands roll up. Push forward, sink your chest, and circle the arms around. Now here's how we breathe. We're gonna exhale as the hands go apart. Exhale. Inhale, rolling up. Exhale, push forward. Inhale, circle around. Exhale, hands push apart. Inhale, rolling up. Exhale, push forward. Inhale, circle around. Embrace the tiger, harness your power, return to the mountain, cultivate inner peace, a feeling of being grounded, like the mountain, it's stable. A way in which we get to know ourselves by slowing down and turning inward. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Push forward, relax into that flow. These flows give you a chance just to tune into yourself, to nourish your energy from the inside out. Let's do this for one more minute. Exhale and inhale, rolling up. Exhale, push forward. Inhale, circle around. Do that one more time. your body, gather that energy and bring it all back to your center. Now I want you to just feel this power in your hands. Palms face towards each other. Feel a little energy here. Close your eyes. Notice the energy in your hands and body. Take that all back to your center. Bring it right to your belly. Bring it right to your belly. Take a few deep breaths and feel some warmth and radiance right here at your center. Now full breathing, so long inhale, long exhale. And take your hands down to your sides. Shake it out a little bit. All right, you've just done some Qigong. It was a short class, right? Short little 20 minute routine but it's a way to reset your mind and your body. Now, if you want, we are giving away five free classes. We're doing a five-day challenge. So this is gonna start Monday, July 19th, and every day you're gonna get a 20-minute routine in your inbox. It's a five-day challenge. I want you to see how good you can feel in your mind and body after five days of doing Qigong, because you will decrease stress, you'll increase your healing power, and you'll cultivate life force energy. Click the link below. On the next page, you can sign up. Give us your name and your email, and we'll send you those five classes absolutely free, and I'll see you there. Thanks so much for joining. Hope you enjoyed that. Stay in the flow, and I'll see you in that five-day challenge. Bye for now.